Leprosy. That keeps you out the camp. But God says he wants you in the camp. He utilized a ten. He says give a tenth, which is a tithe. It symbolizes our society. It's amazing how much God does for a lot of us. And only 10% of us really tell him thank you. Are you the 10%? God wants you to be healed, but he wants you to be thankful. Get enough sense true lies without Jesus I never it was his divine home to come in contact with him I don't know what the story says to you but there's elevation when you're thankful God works faster when you're thankful Let me say it again. God works faster when you're thankful. Let, let me say something to you. And I'm going to take care of the spirit. And I'm going to cast it out right now. Those of you that's always griping about something. There is no deliverance. Always got something to complain about. Always finding things to point finger at. When God wants to heal you, I cast that spirit out in Jesus' name. God says you can live today. God says you can be like the one. Not the church girl, but the stranger. The Gentile, the Samaritan that the Jews had no dealing with. God wants to save you. You haven't been coming to church, have not been going to church, but God says you can be healed from your leprosy right now. You can be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. Just crowd said, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Just invite Christ into your life. Say, Lord, I repent of my sins. Lord, save me of myself right now. And wherever you sit, wherever you stand, wherever you listen, God is faithful and God won't hold it against you. He will not hold the traditions and the customs against you. if you're willing to receive him in your life. And if you're in this room today, you can receive Christ in your life. The same Jesus that immediately brought deliverance can't bring deliverance to you right now. You've got the sense now. Utilize what God has shown you. You don't have to stay in the condition you're in. You don't have to join this church, but if you can rededicate your life, just give your life to Jesus. He will cleanse you right now. Wherever you are, you lift your hands and say, I want to unite with Christ. If you want to unite with this church, rededicate your life, wherever you are, just lift your hands and say, I want to dedicate my life back to God right now. People often criticize you for the efforts and the steps you make to further God's kingdom. I want to encourage you, you have no need to apologize. 
for where God has called you to go. There are a lot of you that have backed up because of what people have said about you. Because of what people have thought about you. But God said he wants you in the kingdom. You're living today. Just tell God thank you. The Bible says this is this in the book of poetry. When praises go up, that's Thanksgiving. What flows down? You ain't getting no blessing until you can send up some thanks. It's all right to sit and look at the pastor. That's fine because that don't really mean you're not receiving or not. Because some people that jump to their feet don't believe it either. So it's not in what you do, it's in how you act out. Get some sense and act out what God is saying to you. Don't get mad at somebody that's being blessed when you have the same opportunity. Everybody, everybody out there has an opportunity to be blessed by God. It's only by choice if we're not blessed. I can tell you to run around this building three times. That's good. But if you don't get what the Dr. Luke has prescribed, you still be sick. It's time to see what God wants to do. I pray that God open your eyes to the greater things that he has for you. I pray that you open your minds to the knowledge of him that, that will free you from your curse that you've been walking in all of your life. Say it again. I pray that he free you from the curse because when we get free from the curse we will definitely be a blessing. Not only to the church goals but to the non-church members. That's you. Thank God that we got some sense. Anybody thank God for sense? Come on, anybody thank God for sense? Come on, say, I thank God for sense. And I love you. God loves you. He cares for you. And I pray that you keep your head pointed toward the hills. Always look up and tell God thank you. I pray that you have been blessed. I pray that you've been encouraged. Most of all, I pray that you have been free by what God has said to you. I love you. I thank God for you. Until the next time, come on, clap your hands through what a lot. God bless you. And we love you.